All right, so let's go ahead and get started with a micro lecture. This one's on the source of gravity. Remember, micro lectures are intentionally short, focusing on one objective or one kind of content standard. Uh, and this one, or as always, you need three or more bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentences for a summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms. The objective we're going to be focusing on is to describe the direction and cause of gravity. Now, all physical objects that have mass attract each other. Mass, if you don't know, is just kind of a measure of how much matter or stuff is in an object. Uh, so usually bigger things have more mass and smaller things have less mass. It's kind of like weights, but a little different, and we'll talk about the differences between them later on. But anyways, any object, really any object you can see around you, anything around you that's made of atoms or any matter, uh, attracts all other things around it through gravity. So this attraction isn't because they like each other. It's not like a folder or a desk likes you or something like that, and that's why it's attracted to you and vice versa. But what it is is because it has mass, it is a source of gravitational pull. That means you, right now, are a source of gravity. Computer in front of you that you're watching this on, also a source of gravity because it has mass. So why is it that we don't end up being pulled into our computers kind of like this? Why don't we notice the this gravitational pull if it's coming from everything? And the reason why is because it takes tons of mass before there is enough of a pull to notice it. So your computer doesn't have that much mass. Neither do you, neither does a desk in front of you or a car or things along those lines. It takes tons and tons and tons, like as much as there is in the Earth or in the moon, before you begin to notice uh, this gravitational pull, at least as a person. So large things like the Earth or the moon or the sun or other planets have enough mass for us to notice their gravitational pull. But smaller things than that, it's not as much, and so you won't notice it unless you're doing a really precise experiment. Now, gravity always pulls things towards the center of that object. I know we usually say gravity pulls things down, but if you're standing over here like we are, then down is towards the center of the Earth. But if you said down, then the person over here would be pulled this way. So essentially, it'd be pulled out like that. That doesn't really make sense. So the more accurate way to say it is gravity always pulls things towards the center of that object. And that way, even if you're standing over on this side, even though it might be up for people over here, uh, it's still towards the center of Earth, and that kind of fits with what we know. That's it for this micro lecture. Three bullet points worth of notes, one to two sentence summary, and your follow-up questions on Google Forms, please.